What's going on guys? Mike Power here. We're out here today in beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. The reason why we're here is because we're now working with Inovia Wheels. This is a partnership that we're super excited about, so we decided why not come out here, come to the Fitment Industries warehouse and give you guys an inside look at what goes on and a little behind the scenes action. So let's get out of this cold weather. Let's go check it out. It is Mike Power. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to hop inside and meet up with Gels and he's going to give us a tour. You may know Gels because he's kind of a front man for the Fitment Industries channel and uh, yeah, let's see what he's up to. What's going on there, bud? What's up, gentlemen? How are you? Good, good. How's it going, man? Uh, why don't you uh, do me a favor and introduce yourself? Absolutely. So, I am Gels from Anobi Wheels Fitment Industries. So, started here about three years ago as a videographer for Fitment Industries, doing some videos and things like that. Sick. Um, so, not only in front of videos, but editing videos too. Um, me and Dakota worked really closely together on the FI side of the things and uh, grew into some leadership roles there. And. Uh, 2020, we we're like, hey, it'd be super cool if we like made our own wheels. And I have a little bit of like a mechanical design background before this, so nice. I was like, that sounds right in my alley. Yeah. Let's go do that. That sounds super dope. So I kind of hopped away from Fitment Industries for a little bit, still did videos and stuff, but um, am now just responsible for like the marketing operations and wheel designs for uh, Anovia Wheels. Awesome. So. so you're literally just jack of all trades. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they got me doing a little bit of everything. That's <laughs> so awesome. Videos, wheel designs, leading marketing. Yeah. All Sick. that kind of stuff. Would you mind giving us a tour of the facility? Absolutely, man. Let's do it. Right, let's get into it. Sounds fun. So, like, right off the bat, what's something that you think uh, is pretty interesting that you could show us right off the bat? Yeah, so, I mean, this is, like, the headquarters of pretty much everything. So, uh, you're rolling to Appleton, Wisconsin. You see the two big buildings on the side of the road. So, we got the Fitment Industries building, as we call it here, and then the Custom Offsets building. So, gotcha. we, kinda, we have multiple divisions under our enterprise so for both car and truck. This is more like the car side of things. Um, so, of course, we have where all the marketing magic happens, I guess you could say. So, this is what we call the Fitment Industries bullpen. Uh, you got the Fitment the industries team we got you know our social media and some support divisions and then we have Heck anovia yeah. casey right there they're hey. photographer graphic designer so yeah this is uh basically all the marketing side of things for video graphics email everything uh, of course infamous yeah, wheel wall say, not, so, to the infamous <laughs> not to mention wheel the wall. giant wall of wheels here yeah um so we also film in here too so we got some stuff set up for like filming wheel turntables. Of course, wheel wall is a really cool backdrop to have. We've got like a brick wall set up. we got the green screen uh, that we use for some video series like driver to driver, uh, anything that you know we need to utilize, some sort of green cr screen aspect to. Um, so yeah, it works out really well. But Sick. this is uh, basically where you know all videographers, graphic designers and stuff sit, um, where we kind of meet daily for our meetings and stuff like that. And then of course, film in front of a bunch of people. So it's like super awkward when you mess up. Yeah, I can definitely <laughs> agree with that. You get like a massive like quiet on the set, the lights go down, <laughs> everyone's like mouse mode, working super quiet. And it just must make it really awesome when you screw up and everyone's just there to watch it. Yeah, yeah, you like stumble over your words and have to like restart it three times and everyone's like, oh my God, I just want to get back to work. <laughs> yeah, I heard the joke is if you uh, screw up a line, people start to clap for you. Yeah, yeah, typically clap, cheer, holler. Yeah. Great. <laughs> that's, that's the type of uh, energy we so, need. Or, uh, yeah. Some sort of motivation. I don't know what that's it so is. Good. but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Makes you not want to mess up, that's for sure. Yeah, you get motivated instead of roasted, or yeah. you know, get roasted to get motivated. Right. <laughs> Either or, whatever works. But hell yeah, let's, yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's walk, uh, around. walk around the rest of the building here. This so, is exciting. Like I said, this is where like most of the marketing stuff happens, specifically for Fitment Industries and Elvia. Awesome. Um, we got some other divisions in here as well. Um, yeah. Part of our customer service team working in here, so a lot of them um, are remote, which is totally cool. We allow people to work from home if they want to. You know, it's taking phone calls, answering emails, that kind of stuff. Um, don't really need to be in house yeah. for it. So <laughs> this used to be really packed with people, and uh, we've actually kind of split those divisions up a little bit for more like car and truck related too. So we actually built out some more room in the other gotcha. building for truck specific um, people as well. So it's kind of very keep peaceful everyone. in here for possibly it's not so, nice. so much of a peaceful job <laughs> dealing with. Uh, maybe angry customers. I know, right? 
dissatisfied customers. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice when you know people just email nowadays. It's a lot less like calling and, and complaining. It's more yeah. like how how angry can I make this email sound? <laughs> <laughs> no, awesome. it's a good time. It's a good time. So this is kind of like the main entrance of everything. Sweet. You know? Yeah, this is actually where we walked in through. Yeah. Yeah. So like our our main conference room being well used right now. A lot of stuff going on as we move into the new year. Yeah. You know, a lot of new year, new us kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> so you know, coming I up agree. with the big plans for moving forward through the new year. So. I guess the whole new year, new you is maybe the reason why Mike Power is here. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> So this is actually where, so we actually moved into our film studio not too long ago. This is actually where we used to have all the marketing stuff, but we've grown so much we had to kind of split that up a little bit. So That's amazing. So now we have like SD Wheel, Mr. Wheel Deal, all that kind of stuff, and um, some a couple of other support divisions and stuff out here as well. Kind of a hodgepodge of different nice. people. So. Yeah. so how many brands actually work out of this building? I can't remember the number specifically, but That's impressive. this building, I'd say <laughs> it's about like probably four or five brands. That's awesome. And then got a couple more truck-related divisions visions across the street so nice um, like I said we kind of split it up a little bit we still work super close together because oh, yeah, I mean it's literally like just a hop skip and a jump across yep. the road try not to get hit by traffic and then uh, <laughs> yeah we can go hang out on the truck side of the world awesome. which we'll do as well because that's another thing to experience Definitely. same 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 type of vibe yeah a little different people well we're down to see, to see it all and we're excited <laughs> yeah, about it absolutely sweet so a lot of companies they say like oh we have our like core values that we follow and it's like they talk about them and things like that um, but like, do they really follow them? I've never worked for an organization that has done that before. Like, yeah. oh yeah, this is what we value and things like that. Until I worked here, that's never been more true of like, no, these we actually do yeah. live this kind of thing. Like the, the mission is like, we're just like, a bunch of car enthusiasts and yep. truck enthusiasts and people who like vehicles and want to do some cool shit. Um, so we follow these like to the T. Like it's all about like positive energy, like being a leader regardless of the title. It's like I can go up to the CEO and be like, hey, I have an idea or hey, I think this would work really well or this didn't work that yeah. well. And it's like, you know, we can kind of banter with each yep. other and poke fun at each other. But, you know, if you got you got the facts behind it, you know, it's like you can go talk to whoever and bring ideas to whoever. And we all listen like, you know, that's how that's how we move so fast and that's grow awesome. so fast. And, you know, it's it's just about, you know, holding yourself accountable, like really attacking like the numbers and metrics, moving quick. And that th we follow that to a T and it's all about the culture, really. Open communication. Open communication. That's another thing. Like, there's no <laughs> secret. Like, yeah, we everyone knows like the state of everything. Everyone knows like how we're doing, how if we're doing good, if we're doing bad, like where where the help needs to be. Yeah. You know, even though I'm in marketing. If I need to hop in and help the web team with something, you know, like, hey, how how can we make this flow better? Yeah. Like we're doing that. You know, we're we're all here to help each other. That's so, so awesome. That sounds so great. It just yeah. sounds like everyone's so close and even though like you're saying, like even though you may work in another department, you want to see every department doing good. Exactly. And so I'm sure succeed, every other succeed, department yeah. sees, the, sees the same thing for you. <laughs> exactly. That's really awesome. Yeah. It's it really is teamwork. Yeah, absolutely. I mean that's something that we're big on too, because like without a good team with racing, like mm -hmm. you really can't do that great. So yeah. having everyone on the same page, open communication, it takes you know, ideas being tossed around, mm -hmm. that's what makes a good racing team. Absolutely. And I'm seeing for myself that's what makes a good company. <laughs> it's crazy the opportunities that have been brought up. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. That's really exciting. Yeah. Speaking of, we can go check out the, the wheel designs here, the original oh, yeah. five, as we call them. These are the first original fives of the Deco Directional Designs. So we got the Knight, uh, the Elder, the Titan, Kinetic, and Carrier. Um, I had a hand in majority of those, the Carrier and the Kinetic awesome. were all mine. And then some of the other ones Alex had inspiration on. We had some uh, graphic designers hop in, like Corey and Connor at the time. They, they said, hey, we should do one more. Ended up being like our most popular wheel, so that was really cool. Heck yeah. So That's it's, awesome. been a, it's been a wild ride. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sure. It, it really shows. Yeah. And so, not to mention like the direction from like what we're looking at right now, mm -hmm. where you guys started to the direction to that you're now, moving. Yeah, in the, like the last couple of years. It's yeah, been it's just really a rapid pace of growth. Mm -hmm. It's like something super exciting, yeah. especially if, like for us to be involved in. Right. Like, that's us. We're all about progression mm -hmm. and being like being passionate about what we're doing right. and just pushing for new levels. Right. So like one of the main reasons why we wanted, you know, the whole name change and everything, we wanted to move, not move past direction wheels, like because we, we love the directional aspect. We did the left and right side. We took that challenge yeah. on of like doubling the inventory, doubling the you know amount of things you had to make, the designs oh, and all that kind of stuff. It's 
a logistic nightmare, but it's totally <laughs> worth it. Um, so, like, as we moved into Anovia, we're super pumped for, like, the non-directional stuff, uh, the multi-piece forge stuff. Yep. And it just opens up a whole new realm for us to hit, and we're super pumped and to even, like, have you guys on board. Like, Oh, yeah. We're, I mean, I'm super <laughs> hyped, too. I mean, that's actually a really good uh, opportunity to ask you the question. Like, what's something that um, you guys are, like, looking forward to, or what was maybe the idea of why you'd want to work with a formula drift driver you know we saw the gap in the industry we saw you know what people are looking for out of a wheel what you should expect to get out of an aftermarket mm -hmm. wheel it shouldn't just be a round piece of metal you slap on your car Not it should one bit. it should <laughs> like mean something it should actually be there for a purpose yeah so that's why we focused a lot on making them super lightweight we focused on making them strong like being able to have a left and right side so it looked good you didn't have like one going this way one going yeah. the other way you know that's why we took that challenge on so being able to you know when you look at testing these things yep. for those purposes that we built them like what more like rigorous testing is there than throwing them on a drift car i mean you get wheel drops you get things hitting walls you get yeah. things thrown at you at super <laughs> high wheel speeds you get a lot of load on it i mean why not so we're back here in the fi bullpen that you guys saw in the beginning of the video and uh Gels here is saying, oh my god. Gels <laughs> <laughs> is saying we're going to go across the street and check out the other warehouse. What's in the uh, other warehouse? So the, uh, across the street, basically like pretty much the same thing. Got a lot of marketing guys, a lot of like support divisions, a lot of customer service, but for the truck side of things. Awesome. So I heard there's a pretty cool car in there. There is a pretty neat car in there. We should go check it out. <laughs> but we got to go outside back in the cold. Yeah, I know. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they always say? It's not so much the cold as the guy starting wind. And in the summer, it's the gosh darn humidity. <laughs> so, welcome to our first building. So we actually all used to work in here before we built Fitment Industries over there. Awesome. So this is custom offsets. Hey, you come here. <laughs> it's an Alex in the wild. Hey, why are you in the wrong building? Yeah, well, what are you doing? I just, I'm doing stuff and things. Hello, I, that, why, hi. Hi, how's it going? This is Alex. You Hello. may know him from Fitment Industries as well. You look, you got a you familiar look face. so much cooler than me because you got cool things on your coat. What if I make you one of these? Thick thighs save lives. Oh. And Nissan, I want one. <laughs> I want one. That's so awesome. How you doing? We're doing good. We're doing a little tour. We're checking oh, out God. everything going on here. You caught me at a bad time. All I'm right, well, we'll here. see you another time. <laughs> I'm just, oh, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> it's really good to see you guys. I hope you really enjoy your tour here at Fitman Industries. Is that the plug that I'm supposed to do, or do sure. I? Sure, I mean, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> Did I fuck it up? No, no I fuck it up. Or, you, you guys do whatever the fuck you want. I'm not your dad. <laughs> Bye, Alex. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, this is the custom offsets building. So, uh, literally, custom offsets started in a garage. Sean's garage, the owner, like in 2012, he was like, I can't find what fits my Cadillac, and no one is giving me the answer because forums suck, and you get like half the information, so he started the gallery. So that's like what Fitment Industries and Custom Offsets was built off of. Like, here's a place, upload your car and your wheel specs and your tire specs, and say what works and what doesn't work, and we'll give you a shout out on Instagram. That's literally how it Dang. all started. So, so the one time that almost like misinformation on the internet has started, it's something yeah, so Yeah, literally, amazing. he's like, I'm so <laughs> sick of having to find this information, just give me it, and I'll give you a shout out on Instagram kind of thing. So that's really what sparked it all, and then moved into like selling wheels and tires and Sick. you know packaging them together and doing the yeah. whole thing. And now here we are making our own stuff. So um, from the garage, we literally moved to what we called like the pizza shop, and it's literally just was an old pizza shop and yeah. it was super small there was like eight people working there at the time uh from there they moved literally a couple blocks down to a place we called 1060 it was 1060 perkins street a little bit bigger they were able to pull in a garage be able to start building trucks and things like that moved up to about like 30 40 people outgrew that and then this was the first building that we actually built to suit our needs wow um and kind of quickly outgrew that as we moved into cars fitment industry Man. started started bringing out more what divisions. a good problem to have and we then, I know, right? <laughs> it's literally like we're building something new every year. So we're like, hey, let's build another building right across the street. And that's now where all the car divisions are located. So, so this awesome. was uh, when I first started, this was my first home. It was like right after it was built. So I nice. um, didn't get to experience the whole pizza shop 1060 days. But, yeah. you know, that, maybe that's all right because I heard they didn't have like AC back then. So. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, you yeah. have to be a little bit more comfortable here. Yeah, so this is, like I said, truck guys have reclaimed their home. As you can see, uh, we got Anthem over here. This is their show truck they call the General big old Ram power that wagon, sick. pretty decent. Oh, yeah, and then kind of uh, hiding behind, we have some other goodies like Alex's Ferrari. <laughs>
Wait, so what's getting set up over here? I see some camera equipment being broken out. Yep, so like how we uh, film over at Fitman Industries, uh, they film over here as well in front of their wheel wall, do a bunch of awesome. truck-related videos and things like that. So. Sweet, so you guys just marketing media it's, masterminds. Yeah, it's huge. That's awesome. <laughs> it never stops. And we're just here filming for a small YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is Alex's uh, F430. So this thing used Let's to be in really, <laughs> really rough condition. Um, if you guys have seen like the videos of like a red Ferrari on like a forklift going like this, this yeah, is I that think, car. I think if we can, we could probably just throw in a clip really quick <laughs> yeah, it's, of what this looked like before terrifying. it was this. <laughs> so uh, it was bought as like a salvage auction car. Um, and now it is here. And it's on our own Anovia three-piece forged carriers, which are brand new for this year. Super, super neat. Um, this car was actually out at SEMA this last year. It was in the Accuware. I booth, remember seeing so. it too. Yep, that so it's hooked awesome. up with Accuware suspension. Um, got a whole redone interior, so a lot of carbon goodies. It's fun to drive, it's a blast. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Maybe I will know. Maybe Who will. knows? I mean, I know where Alex the key is. Alex wouldn't be happy about it. I can go grab the key. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get in trouble today. Yeah. One of the uh, new wheels that we're introducing is a lot of fingerprinted up because oh, I mean, kind of manhandling this thing, getting everything squared away. But this is our new Anovia Kano uh, that we're coming out with this year. So nice little chrome boy. If you want to take a look at that. So uh, Whoa, yeah. That's mad light. <laughs> nice and shiny. <laughs> Wonder why there's a bunch of fingerprints on it. Yeah. Just I kidding. Just... <laughs> I wouldn't be able to keep my hands off of this. This wheel's awesome. Yeah. So this is an 18 by 10 and a half plus 22. Coming wow. in around like that's, eight. I mean, 18 that's pretty light pounds, for a so, yeah. big wheel. <laughs> yeah, we're super pumped about this one. Obviously, the chrome, super dope. Oh, yeah, that's what uh, I was saying. The chrome yeah. is. That's Kano's so a design awesome. we're really pumped about, too. We got the three spoke, too, we're coming out with, but I'm super pumped about this one. Sweet. So, me and you, and. Or is it just going to be me and you? I think it's just me and you. Yeah, so we're going to be doing a wheel review. Yeah, on, on this. First one. impressions on this and talking about all the wheels, so. That's going to be posted over at where? Uh, yeah, you can check out that wheel review uh, over on Anovia Wheels YouTube. You can come check that out. We'll be posting that up there. Probably sick. get some snippets of it on our Instagram and TikTok as well. So. For sure. Sick. I'm excited to do that. I mean, <laughs> I'm really excited to just check out, you know, everything that goes into this. Just, I'm just getting too excited, man. I don't even know what to talk about anymore. I'm too excited. <laughs> but yeah, definitely check out the wheel review video. So go over to their page, Anovia Wheels. Man, I think we're good. All right, guys, that's a wrap on the tour here at the Fitment Industries headquarters. What an awesome day. Really want to thank Gels for walking us around, showing us what goes into you know running a business like this, especially multiple brands under one roof. Uh, but it's really been an amazing day. I'm so excited to be working with Anovia Wheels. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. So until then, you guys do whatever the <laughs> you want. I'm not your dad. <laughs>